So this last one is my personal favorite and I've been using it basically on a daily basis since I found it. All right, guys, let's talk about some AI tools that I'm using to speed up my SEO ranking. So the first tool I wanna to talk about is Surfer SEO and you guys might already be familiar with it, but they recently launched Surfer AI, which is basically a one-click article generator and it works extremely well. Let me show you guys how this works. We have to head over to our content editor. By the way, I have a full playlist where I talk about all the different tools inside of Surfer, which you guys can find right here. But the main thing we're going to do is we're going to head to the content editor and then we're going to head to write with AI. So what we want to do here is basically select a few keywords, maximum five, to basically help the AI create that article for us. So we're going to go with that trusted keyword, vegan brownie recipe. So we can actually see the difficulty and the volume. Uh, let's do brownies vegan. Let's do easy vegan brownies. And let's do maybe vegan brownies with almond flour. Sure. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create, and again, this takes up one AI credit. We're going to talk about the pricing in just a second. So once this is created, we're now going to go through a few different steps before the AI actually starts writing that content. So this might take a minute here. So once it's done loading, we can click into it. And now we're going to load up the editor. It's basically going to guide the AI to write that full article. So we can select that tone of voice. I'm just going to select auto, but you guys can see all the different options here. And I am going to select this boost anti AI detection. Next, I want to review the outline of the next step. I am going to leave that checked and we can select the different organic competitors, just like any other content editor inside of Surfer. So we're going to then create the outline. All right. So once that's loaded, we can then review the outline, make any changes that we'd like, but this looks fine to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click let's write and that will basically tell the AI to start writing. Now this might take upwards of 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll get back to it once it's done. All right. So Surfer has finished with this article and we can see that it's basically just a regular content editor, right? We have the score 81 out of 100. Again, guys, I didn't do absolutely anything. Surfer generated this article completely on its own and it is quite phenomenal. So we can have a little scroll here. They don't really add any images. Maybe there's something I'm missing here, but I believe we have to add our own image images. Now, there are a couple more things here. We can then also insert terms. And this is an interesting little add on. And the cool thing about this is that we basically get suggestions from Surfer to add in more keywords in specific places of our content. Let's say I accept this. Now I basically have this checked off again. Very, very neat, guys. This is probably the highest quality type of AI content creator that I've seen. I'm just going to save this. Let's say that I finished. I'm going to click Mark is done. And the final step is that it's basically going to scan the content for plagiarism, which is quite neat that it's already included in that full article. And then that content is done, guys. All right, so let's talk about pricing here. So we do have one article for $29. And then as we order more, it gets cheaper per article. Now, I totally understand how this may seem quite expensive. But the way I see it is I basically consider how expensive it is to have a writer create that same type of blog post. And again, these articles are very high quality, we will most likely still need someone to review it. So what I've been doing is I've been reducing the number of writers that I have for clients, and I've been turning them into reviewers fact checkers and editors of content that is created with tools like Surfer AI. So if you guys think that Surfer is too expensive, then check out this tool, autoblogging.ai. Very similar experience. It will create those one click articles for a lot cheaper. So let's talk about the pricing first. We have a bunch of different prices here, but the main thing is that we get one credit for one article and we see what the price is per credit in the different price schemes here. So we can actually also pay annually or we can have basically a $1 trial or we get a set number of credits and we can try out auto blogging. Now I'm going to show you guys how this works. We're going to use this quick mode. There's pro and godlike mode, all of which basically are more in depth and higher quality content. But even though I've personally seen the quick mode generate some pretty solid content. So all we have to do is enter a blog topic. I already have mine. Here's the best and only vegan brownie recipe you'll ever need. We can choose a language. We're not going to add God mode. I am going to add an AI image and then I'm not going to check any of these because I want FAQs, grammar, HTML, email formatting, all the things. Now I'm going to click generate article and this shouldn't take as long as Surfer AI. But again, the content quality usually won't be as high. So we'll wait for this to load here. OK, so once the tool is done writing, we're then basically going to see we have this AI generated image doesn't look too bad. But if we keep scrolling down, we're going to see that the content is actually quite decent, formatted quite well. We have in bold some related keywords or important keywords. We have a step by step instructions here. If we 
keep scrolling, we can see a different variation of a recipe. So gluten-free. Again, guys, I've created, here's another table. I've created quite a bit of content with this tool and it isn't too bad. Again, it probably won't have the quality of Surfer AI, but it's still pretty solid. Another benefit here is that if we actually scroll down to the pricing, we're gonna see that we can actually generate bulk content almost hands-free. So it starts with a thousand, but it can go up to 8,000 for 10,000 articles. And there's also even a way of connecting this straight to your WordPress. So you can basically generate thousands and thousands of articles almost instantaneously and get posted straight to your WordPress almost hands-free. So it is kind of crazy. If you guys are interested in that, I can definitely create a video of how that works. But for now, I just wanted to show you that this existed. Now, this last one is my personal favorite. And ever since I found it, I've been using it almost on a daily basis and it's called harpa.ai. Now this is a basically a chat GPT Chrome extension, but it's a little bit different from everything that I've seen up to now. So there's a bunch of different features to this plugin, things that we've already seen before. So AI assisted search, but there's other things that kind of separate this Chrome extension from ones that I've seen before. So this right here is what makes this tool so powerful. So it's basically page aware. So it basically understands the context of the text that's sitting on a specific page. And as a result, we can basically create a bunch of automation with ChatGPT to create some really powerful things for SEO. Here's an example that I've been using to create content for my blog. What we're gonna do is we're basically gonna load up a previous video of mine and we're now gonna create a blog from this specific video. So I'm gonna load up here the extension and I just wanna show you guys all the different commands that we have here. Again, things for Facebook, things for LinkedIn, Pinterest, Amazon, a bunch of different things, guys. Really, really cool stuff. But now let's focus on this use case. So we're gonna type in compose and now what we're gonna do is, here, let me just make this bigger. Now what I want to do is I want to create an article. So I'm going to select article, but again, take a look at all the different things that we can create. And basically what we're going to do now is I'm going to ask it to take the transcript of my YouTube video and then create an article for it. So because it is page aware, it understands that the transcript that I'm talking about is the page that I'm on, which is this specific video. So let's make it a medium size article. And now we have different writing styles. So I recommend that you guys open up this page and take a look at all the different writing styles, but I am going to select the pyramid writing style which basically just puts the most important things at the top. So we're gonna select that and off it goes. It's writing a full on article based on the transcript of my video. Again, pretty powerful stuff here. So once it's finished, we now have a variety of different commands that we can ask, but I'm just gonna say done. I'm gonna copy and paste this into a notion just so we have it here. Now, again, we could open the plugin on this specific page and continue with a bunch of commands, meta descriptions, titles, if I wanna improve the conclusion, the first paragraph, whatever it is. But what I wanna do is I wanna generate a featured image for this blog post that I'm gonna be posting on my blog. So instead of trying to find a royalty free image, let's use Midjourney. Now to use Midjourney, we're gonna have to create a prompt, but why don't we use the same extension to help us create that prompt. Now, again, type in that slash and look for Midjourney. Now, all we're gonna do is click on page text and because it's aware of the content on the page, it's basically gonna analyze that content and now create a Midjourney prompt for us. So we're gonna get a bunch of different things here. We're gonna let it load. So let's just take this first one, head over to Midjourney and type in that prompt. All right, so now we have all these options. I'm gonna hit U2. Now that we have this, I can basically just copy this, paste it straight into my Notion. And now we have a unique featured image with a brand new blog post that's been completely generated with a chat GPT plugin. Honestly, pretty incredible. So let me know what you guys think about all these tools. There's gonna be links to all of them in the description of the video. Let me know if there are other ones that I've missed and I'll see you guys in the next one.